Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. We're going to discuss the electrical activity of a myocardial cell and discuss the phenomenon of depolarization and repolarization. Here we have a ventricular myocardial cell. Before the cell is stimulated, in this case by the SA or AV node, the cell is in a state of resting membrane potential. And that is the difference in voltage between the inside of a cell and the outside of the cell. The resting membrane potential in a myocardial cell is negative 90 millivolts. So the inside of a cell is negatively charged at rest without any stimulation. When the cell is stimulated, cations, in this case sodium, enter the cell and makes it less negative. Remember that the negative resting membrane is negative 90 millivolts and you have a positively charged sodium entering the cell. This stimulates the cell until it reaches negative 70 millivolts, which is the threshold potential. After this, voltage-gated sodium channels open and more sodium enters the cell. It moves from its resting negative state to a more positive state, and this is called depolarization. Once the cell is depolarized and voltage is around zero, sometimes 10 millivolts, voltage-gated sodium channels close and calcium and potassium channels open. And in this plateau phase, calcium enters and potassium leaves, which means that there's no net change in potential. After that brief moment, eventually calcium channels close, but potassium channels stay open and potassium continues to leave the cell. Since potassium is positively charged, the cell starts to lose its charge and moves back to its negative state until it reaches its resting negative potential of negative 90 millivolts, and this process is called repolarization. In summary, the cell is depolarized through the influx of sodium and eventually repolarized through the loss of potassium. This process moves to its neighboring cell through gap junctions, and the process repeats itself, reaching the threshold, depolarizing, going through the plateau phase, and eventually repolarizing. So there you have it, the process of depolarization and repolarization in the myocardial cell.